my uh, next question is um, Islam allows marriages, um, I mean, a husband to marry more than one wife, four wives. Is it um, compulsory to take the permission from the wife before marrying that second one? Because a lot of Muslim girls have told me that, you know, they have to take permission from the first wife, so our interests are taken care of. I hope you don't intend to become Muslim and marry more than one wife, huh? No, I don't. Because, <laughs> because there's a new law in the Indian government. If a Hindu converts to Muslim and marries more than one wife, then there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. There's a no, new I, law that's passed. I don't intend to, but I just need to find don't out. Don't intend to before. marry or don't intend to convert? I, well, <laughs> I won't answer that now. <laughs> <laughs> the other the question that is it compulsory that the husband should take the permission of his first wife before he marries a second wife? As a general rule, because it is mentioned in the Quran that a man can have more than one wife, it is not required for a man to take the permission of first wife, but it is preferably takes permission or at least informs her. Okay. Yeah. As far as permission, certain conditions become compulsory. During a nikah, during a marital contract, a man or a woman, before they get married, they can put any conditions which are permitted. If the woman puts a condition in the nikah nama that my husband will not take a second wife as long as I live, because marrying more than one wife is optional. So if she puts a condition, then it becomes compulsory for the husband to take the permission of the wife, otherwise he cannot marry. If this is not mentioned in the nikah nama, if it's not mentioned in the marital contract, it's not a must, it is preferable. Okay, Hope that answers the question. Thanks.